Hi everybody, my name is Walter. I'm with Centoro Digital Marketing and today we're going to talk about analytics and measurement. So analytics, basically, what is it? It's the tracking of your data. So there's, you know, various different ways to track analytics. There's various different platforms to track analytics. And today in this video, we're going to talk about Google Analytics. So Google Analytics 4, which is the current instance um, of Google Analytics. Um, Google Analytics 4 had replaced Universal Analytics. And now, obviously, as you know, we all can see, we have Analytics 4. Um, which is uh, denoted as GA4. So we're going to talk about basically what are the most important things to measure on there because if you look at everything in analytics, you got to be crazy. Um, there's just so much information back there. Uh, you know, it's a lot easier basically just to kind of pick certain things out and use them when you, uh, when you need them. So in no particular order of operations, let's talk about the stuff. So the first one's going to be page views. Uh, page views is going to be a really, really good metric for when you want to understand how many page views um, your website is getting. Page views can be broken down by strictly like page views by the week, by the month, 90 days, you know, um, six months. Uh, you can do basically, honestly, anything you want. You can do for a year. You know, you can really kind of configure these things any which way you would like to. So page views is a very, very useful metric to kind of gain an overall understanding on how many pages are people reading across your site? Um, are there any ways that you can improve these sorts of metrics, things along those lines? The next thing um, which kind of follows right along with page views is page views per user. So page views per user is just as simple as it sounds. It's pages viewed per user. That's it. Um, now, if you want to include uh, or optimize basically the number of pages um, that users are looking at or whatever the case may be, then you're going to want to track page views per user because that will help you then figure out how to increase the number of pages somebody's viewing on your site. Of course, you know, there's strategies and ways to do this, such as improving your internal links, improving the way uh, your website functions overall, whatever the case may be, right? You know, lots of different ways to do it. Next thing is going to be your session medium. So your session medium is going to be very, very important. Um, your session medium is going to help you understand what are the ways that people are getting to your website and how long are they staying on your website from those ways? So, right, we have uh, just a few aspects of stuff, you know, kind of by default or, um, you know, things that you should be looking at. We have uh, email, we have organic, we have uh, CPC or paid traffic, which is paid uh, traffic from like Google, uh, you know, like Google ads. Facebook ads, you know, things along those lines. Um, we have organic social, so like social media, um, things along those lines. Um, you know, you have all these various different uh, session mediums and session sources. And, you know, really where they become important is understanding, like I said, the top ways uh, that traffic is coming to your website. Once you know what the top ways are, then you can actually optimize and analyze and whatever uh, whatever else the, uh, the case may be. Next thing here is going to be the average engagement time of those uh, session mediums. So the average engagement time, very, very important. Um, you want a high average engagement time um, across the board for all of your stuff, but you know, not everybody's going to stay on your website, um, you know, as long as what you would like them to do. The higher engagement time on your site, the more useful and trustworthy a search engine actually thinks that it, it, that it is, you know, um, et cetera, et cetera, things along those lines. Um, next thing that we're going to talk about is uh, total users um, and then new users. So total users is basically number of people that visit your website um, who have been cookied before. Um, so... Basically, what happens is, is uh, you know, users, when they come to your site, they get cookied. 
uh, which lets the analytics tag know that they visited the site. They go into basically what's called a bucket of total users. Some of them um, will be returning users if their browsers are, are tracking that. Um, you know, and then we also have new users. So the new users are people who are coming to your site who might have had a cookie duration that has expired. The typical duration for this thing is like seven days. So after a time period of seven days, the cookie resets and then you have what's counted as a new user um, after that period. Of course, you can adjust your cookie duration uh, for your analytics property by going into your admin and then your settings and you can adjust it uh, somewhere within within there. On an overall basis though, you know, all of these sorts of tracking uh, aspects of stuff, you know, they help to optimize your digital marketing, your SEO, your ads, um, you know, your social media, whatever the case may be. Um, you know, they're very, very important metrics to look at. And the final one that I want to go over is the pages and the screen class. Simply put, this is basically just the top pages that your website has. Um, it's very simple to understand. Um, you know, what you can basically use it for is looking at what your top pages are, ways to improve those pages to make them even better, or um, looking at what your underperforming pages are and then seeing how you can improve uh, those aspects of, uh, of things. Overall, you know, if you need help with your uh, setup, your analytics, your measuring, whatever the case may be, the team at Centoro can help you. Uh, we can get uh, in touch with each other by dialing 407-923-0109 um, or visit us at our website at centoro.com. That's C-I-N-D-T-O-R-O.com. And uh, we hope to hear from you soon. Thanks. See you in the next video.